The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 286 pounds, Brock Lesnar. You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye. And this is one of those times. This guy's a stud. I don't see many losses in his future. And approaching the ring from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. King, this man, Roman Reigns, has become a walking highlight reel. That's because his offense is just so dynamic and dominating. I can't wait to see what we get from him here tonight. This may be the most amped I've ever seen in Asheville crowd. There's no telling what these competitors will do in Extreme Rules, but I can guarantee we're about to find out. Brock Lesnar is simply dominating this matchup here. to avoid that. You know, Cole, one of the dates in Brock Lesnar's career that will always be on top of the list is March 30th, 2003. WrestleMania 19, when Brock defeated Kurt Angle in one of the greatest matches of all time to win the WWE Championship. What do you have on Brock Lesnar? Definitely looking good so far. Hasn't taken too much punishment up to this point. Wow, what a reversal by Lesnar. Yeah, I know they call him the Beast, but that was just beautiful. And he gets leveled. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. Jerry, that was an incredible contest. I remember calling that match in what was just as memorable, if not more so than Brock winning his second WWE Championship, was Lesnar missing a shooting star press off the top rope and almost breaking his neck toward the end of the match. WrestleMania 19 will always be one of the most memorable events in Brock Lesnar's famed career. Well, you know, Michael, you couldn't have said it any better. The match between Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 19 was just amazing. I still can't believe that Brock tried that shooting star press off the top rope. The match was one of the best in WWE, and it marked Lesnar's second WWE Championship reign. Ow! Ooh, wow, 
Look at another vicious shot with that foreign object. We're looking at complete domination here. Look at the attack here. Oh, man. Talk about a direct hit. The assaults from Roman Reigns come from the ground in the air. Reigns just crushes opponents with his knee lift. Shoulder block, swinging gut wrench slam, short arm clothesline, jumping lariat, and the phenomenal Superman punch. That's what happens when you're in a powerful grasp. You go down. Oh, that slam was vicious. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. Just making his presence felt there. Very nicely done. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Cole, earlier you talked about the sheer awesome arsenal of Roman Reigns. But we can't forget about his Samoan drop or how he runs the length of the ring while on the floor and blasts his opponent in the head with a drop kick while they lay battered on the apron. Nice move. I'm not sure I can watch this. He looks absolutely unstoppable here. Well, we're on the move here. Man, is anyone more destructive than Roman Reigns? Look at that. One of the impressive aspects to Roman Reigns' offense is that the moves punish an opponent all over the body. The back, neck, head, torso, legs. Reigns hopes to... Oh man, does he have that arm submission in tight? And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. You can practice. Oh, not again. Not again. Watch it. Oh, nice assist from the kendo stick. It's crucial to remember Brock Lesnar is not a regular man. He's merciless. He's a beast. He's a conqueror with the intent to dismember opponents. He can raise his intensity with ease and throw his opponent smack dab in the middle of Suplex City. Oh my, get the medics down here. Did you see that? Did you hear that? It seems that, oh, oh my God. Look at the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Look up intimidation, you'll see his picture by it. There is a fury that comes from deep within Roman Reigns. I mean, Reigns enters the ring like it's a battlefield, and he looks to completely wipe out his opponents from competition. Let's face it, Reigns is a beast. Not today, too fast. Shockwave sent down the spine. I'm not sure I can watch this. Whoa, don't get up. This. He's looking at it again. That arm is now in an extremely compromising position. He's in perfect position. Complete control. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. Oh, that's just sick. Wow. Look at Wow. It doesn't get much better than that right there. Brock Lesnar's in that really scary place right now. He's actually enjoying this. Oh, clothesline! Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. I am getting tired of watching this. Do something different. Well, we're on the move here. Quick thinking to avoid that. And he dodges that one. A nice shot by Brock Lesnar. A quick punch to the gut. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. He sees it. We know what this is. F5. 
drive connects, and that has to be it. And I think he's begging him to bring it. These guys are giving it their all here tonight. Not just Andy. Ow! They hit him with the table! Oh, the flesh! Look at the welts! Did you see that? Did you hear? I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. Lesnar seems confident here and with good reason. This one's not over yet. Good grief. Tremendous impact for that ladder. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Oh, oh what devastation. You can't get up from that, can you? I don't even want to think about what a third time will sound like. Ow! Ooh, another shot. Oh, wow. Ouch! He's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. Oh, look at this. And I think it's obvious that he'll stop at nothing to win here tonight. Oh! Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Ow! Ooh, I'm not sure I can watch this. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. The damage has been done. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. Look out! He's got to be history! Is he still even conscious? Oh, man! Roman Reigns showing signs of life. Wow, please tell me not the only one who felt that in. Shoulders down, is it enough? And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. You need to park a truck on top of Brock to keep him down. Chopped down with the axe handle. Oh, man, that had to hurt, Cole. The offense of Brock Lesnar is working well right now. He is just getting busted up. Oh, look at the emotion. The spear might end it. I think you're right. This could be over. Quick pin attempt by Roman Reigns. Oh, look at that. He managed to get a shoulder up. Well, like they say, Cole, timing is everything. What do you have to do to keep this guy down? Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Nice escape by Lesnar. And it's moves like that that made Lesnar the one in 21 and 1. Brock moves in. This could be it. Brock Lesnar. What a crafty maneuver. Uh-oh. There's the finisher. This the shoulders are down. Two. Man, he's got to feel great. One in a million is the only way to describe this match. Oh, those WWE competitors tore this arena apart. Oh, they threw everything they had at each other in this match. I can't believe what we saw in that match.
What an incredible match. That one could have gone either way. Nobody has anything to be ashamed of in this one. Yeah, you're right. It's just a shame that someone had to lose. Now, uh, when you bring such a high level of intensity into the match, good things are bound to happen to you. Guys, I think this Nashville crowd is in awe over witnessing such an incredible performance. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 286 pounds, Brock Lesnar. You can feel the intensity level inside the arena rising. His eyes tell the story of a man determined to win here tonight. If he's not determined to win, stay home. And approaching the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. King, I'm not sure there's a superstar in WWE history that's worked harder than John Cena. And you know, Cole, I don't know how he does it. He's on the road nearly every day of the year. I don't think he ever sleeps. Which one of these two will walk away with the win? We'll find out as this one gets underway in mere moments. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Oh, he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a cold. Look out. If a superstar wants to lock up with John Cena, they're going to have to be ready for the STF. Ugh. We all know about Cena's high-powered offense, but Cena has won many a match and many a championship with this painful submission hold invented by the incomparable New Thads. Michael, that is right. Everyone talks about Cena's power, and they should. I mean, we do. When Cena's power locks you in that STF, 
the painful submission hold can turn into a crippling one in mere seconds. John studied the move, its origins, and can apply it to any opponent. And so what are your thoughts right now on Brock Lesnar? Well, luckily the body hasn't absorbed too much of an attack up to this point. Wow, he's still down after that. Cole, Cena's version of the STF should definitely be on all of the superstar scouting reports. I think of all the great points that could be said, I think the most important thing that really stands out is that Cena can slap that STF on anyone. To an opponent, that spells danger. Not today, too fast. Uh-oh. Can't stay vertical after the belly-to-belly -belly suplex. One of the best moves ever to take your opponent off his feet. And again, to the neck of Cena. This is relentless. And don't forget, Michael, Cena has sustained a career-threatening neck injury of his own. One has to wonder if the strategy was to test that neck here tonight. We are both on the same page when it comes to Cena's STF. And if anyone is going to sign a contract to fight John Cena, they better know about it. It's history, it's effectiveness, and how he finishes opponents with it. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. The offense of Brock Lesnar is working well right now. I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen them in. You have to wonder just how widespread the back pain is. We'll find out soon enough. No kidding, this is bad. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. You know, depending on what type of discussion you're having, there may be superstars in WWE with a wider selection of moves to choose from than John Cena, but nobody can do more damage than Cena with what he does have. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, look at this. When you go at an opponent like this, oh, the flesh. Look at the welts. I don't think there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to to achieve victory here tonight. I didn't think this could get in. Ouch, she's going to be bruised from a head to toe before this one's over. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. Will it be enough for the win? Cole, Cena's version of the STF should definitely be on all of the superstar scouting reports. I think of all the great points that could be said, I think the most important thing that really stands out is that Cena can slap that STF on anyone. To an opponent, that spells danger. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Oh! There's a point where all of your training goes right out the window and you're... And that implement connects again. Ow! Ooh. Man, that's gotta hurt. This is the... Oh! Extra slow getting back to his base here. Ow! Ooh. Direct hit. I don't know if you can get back on your feet after that. Getting tagged like that might... These superstars will do whatever it takes to win here tonight. We are both on the same page when it comes to Cena's STF. And if anyone is going to sign a contract to fight John Cena, they better know about it. It's history. It's effectiveness. And how he finishes opponents with it. Oh, watch out. Oh, wow. You have to think that's it. We're looking at complete domination here. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Oh, and did you hear the impact? That must have caused major damage. Ow! Ooh. 
there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to to achieve victory here tonight. Whoa, when you get nailed with something like that, you know your opponent smells blood. You either defend yourself or be beaten alive. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. What a shot! He's setting it up. He's trying to mangle his face here. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. Brock Lesnar's going to end it with the F5 right there. Yeah, Lesnar with the F5 with authority. And into the cover. One, two, you know, in the past few years... He did it. What a huge win. Let's take a look back at what exactly happened during this one. Here's your winner, Brock Lesnar. Big win for Brock Lesnar. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one fight. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 286 pounds, Brock Lesnar. Oh, I can't wait to see this one. I can't wait to see what happens when the bell rings and these two finally get to go at each other. And approaching the ring 
from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. Here's a man who's no stranger to marquee matchups, the King of Kings, Triple H. Well, you got that right, Cole. The game's fought them all. Undertaker, Cena, Flair, Stone Cold, and the list goes on and on. Thank you for spending part of your evening with us. We think you're really going to enjoy this upcoming match. The man who beat the streak is prepared to strike again and annihilate his opponent. Whether it's the F5 or the Kimura lock, the result will be the same. A crushing defeat at the hands of the Beast Incarnate. This move dramatically slows down the pace of the match. It wears down the opponent and keeps them on the ground. Duh, that's where you want your opponent. On the ground. Oh, he missed. Oh, -ho, nobody home that time. Oh, you know, it's amazing to think that Brock Lesnar has dedicated his life to competition in some sort of ring. I mean, Lesnar has been an NCAA champion, a WWE champion, an IWGP champion in Japan, and a UFC champion. Wherever Brock Lesnar goes, he just dominates. And so what are your thoughts right now on Brock Lesnar? Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out who's the better competitor, that's for sure. No gimmicks here, just some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. Folks, we're in Rosemont tonight, a city that has hosted several WrestleManias, including the second leg of WrestleMania II. The game avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple H saw that one coming a mile away. Okay, you talked about this force before, but it is a testament to Brock Lesnar as an athlete and an unbelievable achievement. The Beast Incarnate has literally dominated every level of competition he's been involved in. Collegiate, here in WWE, in Japan, the Octagon Lesnar's done it all. Well, it's extremely rare that you see an athlete be the very best every place he goes and dominate at every level. I feel as if someone found footage of Brock Lesnar in grade school, he'd be dominating gym class. Brock Lesnar isolates and destroys. Ouch! After a move like that, he's gonna need to see a chiropractor or a spine specialist, whatever he's coupled with. Ow! They hit him with the table! And there's another smack! Man, what a move! There's no recovering from that! Oh, out of nowhere! The CEO of Triple H is a private man, though it's been known for, well, more than some time, makes the cover. And he escapes with a kick out. Penny Lesnar is like trying to hold down a gorilla. You can't say enough about the athletic skills of Brock Lesnar. Look at him go to work. If you haven't done it yet, check out WWE.com, you'll find updates and blogs from all your favorite superstars. Yeah, and don't forget to check us out on Twitter. It's at Jerry Lawler and at Michael Cole. Right, Michael Cole? Yeah, that's original. Oh, wait, nice reversal. 
My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Michael, you mentioned Triple H is a private man, but it's difficult to keep your private life private when you're a WWE superstar, let alone the seat. Oh, the shoulders are down. The offense of Brock Lesnar is working well right now. Look at the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Look up intimidation, you'll see his picture by it. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. He's setting it up. Look out! F5, Brock Lesnar's about to win again. Oh my gosh, what a vicious F5 from Brock Lesnar. We remember when the strength of the Triple H and Stephanie relationship came to power in the famous McMahon-Helmsley regime. It's oh, an yes. amazing testament, King, to Triple H that he's able to run the day-to-day -day operations of this global company while tending to McMahon family business at the same time. Right. Think about the road this man traveled to reach the heights he has ascended to in this business. Look, there is no way Triple H is going to allow himself to get this far and then fall from his throne. It's just not going to happen. I agree. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. Oh, the flesh. Look at the welts. Oh, this isn't good. And it's just getting worse. I wonder if the referee is too intimidated to do anything. At some point, this madness has to end. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. He's in full-on attack mode now. Oh, there's a lot to hit there. Now the question is, is this going to continue? And if so, for how long? If you're looking to make a statement, job well done. This one's not over yet. We've seen plenty of people come back from being in a lot worse shape. The Cerebral Assassin taking this fight right to him. Look out! Looking highly motivated here. I'm not sure I can watch this. Boy, he just got laid out. Oh man, is he fired up. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What happened to you? You used to love being outside the ring. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? Makes the cover. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Triple H has such a drive, such a relentless will to succeed. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. Oh, what a tumultuous move by Triple H. He's really been zeroed in on, but he's still showing some signs of life. What we're witnessing here is... Oh, nice counter. Oh, out of nowhere. He's simply reminding him that he's here. That's vicious. Cutting off oxygen inflicts serious damage to an opponent. Hey, you could have until the referee's five count to break it. Use it. That was an impressive suplex. Oh, man. How do you stand after an attack like this? How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. Stay down. Stay down. He 
is just getting busted up. It hurts just watching it again. Ouch. He's setting it up. Hey, he's going for it again. Nowhere to go. Oh, man, this has got to hurt. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything. Well, thanks for coming. And that implement connects again. Did you see that? Did Ouch, he's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. The back is the largest area on the human body and thus always a target. I know what you mean. You know, I've got a weak back. The shoulders get a kick out. Uh, the kick out's all that's saving. This match goes on. You need to park a truck on top of Brock to keep him down. Nice dodge there. Wow, he can just put out so much offense. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Oh, that's going to put an end to this one. Whoa, get out of the way. When an opponent launches an attack like that, it lets you know they're pulling out all the stops. The steps as a weapon. Ow! Ooh. Oh, did you see that? I have a funny feeling that this is going to turn into a whooping. A submission maneuver? Will he give up? Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. I've heard it from countless superstars over the years, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, that this arena in Rosemont is their I don't think there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to to achieve victory here tonight. Look out! Wow, that's using your imagination. I didn't think this could get any worse. After this match, it won't look like they were in a fight. It'll look like they were hit by a car. Good Lord, he's just hell-bent on naming his opponent. He's too busy bragging and boasting than battling in this matchup. Whoa! Don't get up! We know what this is! F5! Lesnar delivers another one. Uh-oh! There's the finisher. This might be over, and I mean all over. He could pin his opponent right here. I think this is it. Brock Lesnar has won a, a huge win. Let's take a look at some of the big highlights. Let's see what happened during that incredible matchup. One in a million is the only way to describe this match. Oh boy, that was a spectacular performance. Here's your winner. He earned every bit of that victory here tonight. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. It'll be interesting to see the fallout 
following this big singles win here tonight.